big day, big news, and of course, a lot of news. Of course, every day we come up with some kind of news, actually, not for a very long time. But let's talk about something new. Let's talk about something great. Next week, of course, we've already pre ordered the feature. So stay tuned for some. Uh, more importantly, let's talk about Graham Potter. Just issued injury problems for Brighton Arsenal game. For the Crystal Palace draw, which uh, on one, so Potter had an injury list rising of Enoch, had a groin issue, had a knee problem, fell back, hamstring, Adam Webster out with hamstring. After that match is what uh, Graham Potter said. Zuma is making decent progress. Crystal Palace game came a bit late. Hopefully, can be available against Arsenal, but. He have to see at the back. Alzate looked like he had uh, quite a bad one. Bad. Pulled his ankle. So landed. See how it goes over the next 4 to 48. Danny Welbeck felt his hamstring a little bit. Then we will. Also said that uh, he's making. He said Bisuma is making progress. That will be a decision later on the week. Daniel Welbeck, specialist, Sati will not be fit. He also added that Mwepu will also miss the game. So Brighton, that's the thing. I mean, Brighton have a lot of injuries. Somehow gonna make But let's talk about Mikel Arteta. So uh, it looks like uh, Kevin Campbell has opened. There are the Arteta haters. What he said. That all the people that were firing shots at Edu and Arteta at the meet, where are they now? They wrote us off. It was all. They've spent the most money. Look, they've uh, who they signed. Where are they now? Do not attack these guys and then not praise them when they succeed. Give them the same energy, a little, least a little praise, but you never see. It goes to show that Edu and Arteta know what they're doing. There had to be a change of approach at the club. They went for younger players who are going to feed the club. And these players want to play for the club have a go and that is all you can ask for those players that is a sign of things moving on well if you expected Matteo Genduzzi to have a fight it's completely normal stance but William Saliba yesterday had a game in and he actually had a fight with by Diagne who was the striker for Solid display. It was a nil-nil draw. Good defensive display, but lots of flares between the fans as well. Hey, uh, <clears throat> William Saliba actually showed off his strength. You know, Diagne was really through on goal when Saliba, uh, you know, uh, used his all his strength to put him off thrice. Same tackle, he muscled him out. But hey, that that was when the fight kind of collapsed with Diagne versus William Saliba. You can see the images and. Saliba said, hey, what? I did not do anything wrong. But here's what after the game, Jorge Sampaoli opened up. He's a top player at this position. We are lucky to um, pull the comments uh, from uh, talk much about that. Let's just move on. So it looks like Eddie and Ketia is being wanted by three clubs and he might leave Arsenal in January, making a well, of course, Mikel Arteta Tim Konur on Twitter Ian Ketia wants the first chance to leave. Brentford leads in Atena for the young Pryka. Brentford leads United and Aston Villa want great to see that. But hey, Thierry Henry has sent a message or a warning, probably a question. Arsenal and this two, every two year World Cup thing actually going said to FIFA actually ask the current players what they think about it. I played four World Cups and goes and came out of the shattered. And it's not about the games I played in it. Back from the World Cup after a season club. 
so if you play that every two years mentally it's tough it took me more than 25 days to recover on our series proposed 25 days physically yes question is has asked you ever thought about it of course papa of thing let's talk about yusuf sajad who is the head of emerging uh, talent at arsenal and was the main driver behind he was the one who brought me kabirat omer rakhi sala aulad and hand sala edi plus do and team akinola but sajad working on the profession Asian inclusion actually opened. Find out at football. Dot. Paul Merson has predicted about us. Tennis. Arsenal have turned a corner. They produce a fantastic performance against Spurs in the North. On the bounce without. Abi, who further goes on saying that that said Arsenal's Achilles heel over the past few. So I would not be shocked in the slightest if they fail to record a victory. The grand scheme of things, Arsenal should win this, and I. So, no clean sheet, but hey, win for Arsenal. Almost. So, uh, <clears throat> did you? Uh, of course, if you remember that Galatasaray signed Patrick Van Aanholt, so Patrick Van Aanholt, Van Aanholt has had a message delivered to Matteo Genduzzi in the Galatasaray's nil-nil uh, draw with Marseille. He tweeted out, "Running your ma mouth after VAR proved you wrong. Uh, little man needs to relax before I snatch that wig off your head." Well done to my Lions for a. So, if you remember. Uh, Back. GIF as well. moving on. It looks like Arsenal are interested in signing Sergi Roberto, according to a report by Fischer as via the hard tackle. Arsenal and Manchester City are interested in signing Sergi Roberto in next summer's transfer window. Spanish should. Final year of his contract with Barcelona. You know how they are. Uh, wage bill for Barcelona. The Florentino Perez is reportedly keen on signing an experienced centre forward of the cheap. According to El Nacional, Edinson Cavani is emerging as a lead for the role of after Pierre Emerick Aubameyang was considered as well as Adamel Falcao. Well, Cavani has shown at Manchester after the arrival of Cristiano Ronaldo, finding a different. Of course, got rid of the seven jersey that was. Look, it looks like Edinson Cavani a realistic target as well. El Nacional suggests that they are now view the signing of Cavani as more coming or now the club could try signing for the try could try again for the. Was in the consideration for Real Madrid, man. Is he stuff? But here's another player. His name is Hans Vanaken. Recently, in the Champions League, he scored against RB Leipzig. So Hans Vanaken's father says they are open to offers from Arsenal and top club. Any role shows in Belgian. So Vital Vanaken, his father says Hans played one of the best halves ever. National team has given him an extra boost, and we really enjoy seeing Hans play. Like How we celebrated the win? We had gin tonics. One more top year with the club, maybe a third golden shoe, and then a top transfer. Tottenham. Like me giving him a push? No, I have two children, and the most important, happy. Then the rest. So Hans Vanneken's father actually pulling all those together for son have a future. Uh, that is so with this i like to end this episode let me know in the comments do you guys really want sergi roberto to be by us do you think barcelona's youtube
let me know in the comments i'll see you in the next